hi welcome back to my channel it's dami i hope you're doing well today i'm going to be showing you how to make this yummy chicken it tastes really good and it's so simple to make so let's get into it for a large bowl in my sifter i'm going to add two cups of all-purpose flour one teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt i'll sift all this together I'll put a list of all the ingredients I used and their approximate measurements in the description box below so you can check it out. Now I'm going to mix all this together to make sure my dry ingredients are well incorporated. So using my grater, I'm going to grate some frozen butter into my flour. You can use margarine also for this. So I'm just going to combine this until all my butter has been coated with some flour. And now I'm going to add very cold water. I just brought this out from the freezer. You want to put the water like a little bit at a time because you can always add more water but you can't take water out once you've added too much. You don't want to overwork this dough because you don't want to activate the gluten and you don't want the warmth of your fingers to melt the butter. So once it forms a ball, I'm just going to wrap it in a plastic wrap and put it in the fridge to relax. In a saucepan, I have some chicken breast and I added some chicken seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and some salt. I'll mix this together, add a little bit of water and cover it up to let it cook for. Now I'm just going to dice some potatoes. So I'm add, putting this inside some cold water because I don't want my potatoes to turn brown before I use them. Now my chicken is ready. I'm just going to shred this. You can use the food processor if you have one. Okay. So in my saucepan, I'm going to add about one cooking spoon of canola oil. And then my onions. When my onions is fragrant, I add some potatoes and mix it. And then I add my mixed vegetables. This is carrots, peas and corn. If you have only carrots, it's fine too. Potatoes and carrots are fine. And then I'll add my shredded chicken. Okay. Now I'm adding one tablespoon of flour. I'll mix this up. and add my chicken stock this is to make sure that when i bite into my pie it doesn't feel like i'm eating desert <laughs> because i don't want it to be dry so i'm putting this liquid and using some flour to make a, a thick sauce in my pie so now this is ready this is the consistency we are looking for you can see that it's not swimming in liquid and it's not dry it's just like in the middle so this is what you are looking for and while that cools down i'm going to start preparing my tray for baking so i put my oven at 375 degrees i'm preheating my oven and now i'm just going to lightly flour my surface so i put my dough out i'll also flour my rolling pin
and I cut the dough into two to make it easier to work with. So I start rolling this out. It's going to look very dry when you start and to have a lot of cracks and you think you don't have enough water in it. It's going to be fine. Just keep rolling it out. If it starts to stick, you can lift it up and put some flour on your counter and continue rolling. Okay. So now I'm using the cover of my small pot just to cut circles on my pie you can do it into any shape that you want and i'm going to add my pie filling onto my dough cover it up and then I'll use um, a fork to press this down. This is to help me seal the pie so that you want to make sure you're pressing it to the other um, end so that it doesn't open up when it's in the oven. If it's sticking, you can dip it in some flour and keep pressing. So I'll show you another one. So I'm just sealing it up again and this is how it looks so now I'm beating one egg that I'll use as an egg wash for my pies this pie ended up making eight pies and I have one tiny little pie I didn't want to throw away that dough so I just made one tiny little pie for myself for tasting So I'll brush my egg wash all over the pies and now I'll put it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. So now I'm going to make the Algona chocolate, adding 2 teaspoons of cocoa powder, 2 teaspoons of sugar, and 2 teaspoons of hot water. I'll mix this up. And then using my hand mixer, I'm just going to mix it again until the sugar is dissolved. Now I'm going to add half a cup of heavy cream. And then I'll start mixing this until it forms stiff peaks. This Dalgona coffee went viral some months back and I didn't try it because I don't like coffee. I was happy when I found out that I could make it with chocolate. This is my new favorite drink now. Okay. So now I'm adding some ice cubes into my glass. And then I'm going to add some milk. 
and I'll scoop my chocolate and cream mixture into my milk so it's going to float on top Now my pies are ready. This is how it looks inside. Don't be like me. Wait for the pie to cool down before you try to open it. <laughs> and this is the final result. I'm taking some pictures so that I can use it to torment my friends. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you get to try it out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Also drop your comments on what you think about this pie and what kind of videos you would love to see next and i'll see you in my next video bye